You can go see the mermaid. Five dollars all day. Yeah. Not so bad. Look at this. Look at this. Got the beautiful spring right here. We're gonna hang around for a while. <laughs> Nice little park, nice chill bay. Look at our parking. Mm -hmm. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. Does it peanut butter? It does. It's so clear. It's so pretty. We are spending the day at Hunter Park today. Yeah. Um, Hunter Springs Park. And we had no idea this was here. But when we went to the Mer Taylor Aquarium yesterday, um, a lovely merman named Merman Tristan invited me to come swimming here with him and his pod and I'm so excited. I know. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go the whole way. I'm not gonna put on tail, but I'll, I'll, I'll definitely swim around and mm -hmm. hang out. But if you guys don't know, Mer Taylor is a company that makes these beautiful full silicone mermaid tails and just to be invited to hang out with them is, has got me starstruck. So. So basically what I'm trying to say is that in a couple hours, my childhood dreams are coming true. And who knows, babe, maybe after this, I'll be hooked. Another mermaid joke, huh? Don't be <laughs> coy. I'll leave it now. You've been more excited for this than I have been this whole time. Since we found out, you're the one who's been talking about it, I think, no, more I'm, than I me. Think, I think it's more like, I think it's cool for you to be able to do it, but I'm just kind of, I'm just going to hang out. Have a good time. I know. How do you feel about your girlfriend being a mermaid? It's pretty cool. What can I say? Only if you're a real mermaid. Don't say that. <laughs> you are a real mermaid. Mermaid. You are a real mermaid. I know. Let's go watch H2O. Okay. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> there you go. Look at my look. Are you recording? Yeah. Look at my little buddy. <laughs> that was a jump scare. He's <laughs> just waiting for you to get closer and closer. Oh my gosh, he's so stinking cute. He's like polka dotted. Time to make some buffalo chickpea wraps. Get those burners started. Nice. What are you serving us today, Chef Angelina? Um, I made oh, I made, I made uh, buffalo chickpeas. Ooh! And we're gonna put them in the wraps. In a wrap? Yes, in a wrap. Beautiful. With avocado and tomatoes and lettuce. Thank you. And it's put together. Don't judge us. We haven't bought plates yet. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to buy plates. All right, gotta get gotta get a taste test going on. Come on now, peep the new shades. <laughs> Polarized. Mm -hmm. 
Is it well wrapped? No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is really good. I'm a really big fan of chickpeas. I know, me too. I look like a golf ball in my head with my hair like this. You look beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> and we still have two more months out of it. Mm-hmm. All right. Give me... <laughs> Give me, give me a rating. A rating? <laughs> yeah. For the food? Yeah. It was tasty. <clears throat> I would eat it again, definitely. Give me a, the pizza slice rating. It was good. Um... Really easy to make. Probably took about what would you want to say? Like 15 minutes, not even. Mm-hmm. Delicious. If I had some ranch, it'd be a little bit better. True, true. Um I'd go 7.5. 7.5? 7. 7, uh, I'd go probably 7.7. 7. 7. Okay, 7.7 7 is better. Because yes, the it's counted for because it's quick and easy. But I just there is better stuff that you've made with these. <laughs> That's not what you were saying just a few minutes ago. Oh when no, you were I love it. It's delicious. Like, mm, it's delicious. But you have made so good. It, it, so it was good. delicious. Don't get me wrong. And I, I I'm probably, I'm. It's that, that's easy enough for me to make 24/7. Uh -huh. But you're so talented and you know how to cook. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. There's tons of stuff that you've made better than that. You heard it here, folks. Get me on Master Chef season 13. Your lucky number, and I'll win it. This is little one, isn't it? He's so tiny compared to me. I know. Look how sweet. I see. If you touch a camera, oh, don't hit that. It's okay. He's eating from it. That's his food. He's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, did you see the one right here in front of my face? Right here? Okay. He's moving. Nope. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's, he's trying to get some shade. He's playing with the mom. He's growing up in He's holding on to you. We should have seen that, but I was video. So we are back in the bus after a very eventful little two hours, I'd say. Yeah, it was um, so fun. Yeah, this if Hunter Hunter Spring Hunter Park. Hunter Springs Park. You have to go. It's like five dollar five dollar parking fee for the whole day. Yeah. And you could pretty much go. It's beautiful little swimming area they have. It's Kai Friends and manatees. They're manatees. Oh yeah. I, we were talking about like it's probably not even worth it to spend like your sixty five bucks to go on these the manatee, manatee tour. tours. Because we did one and it was fun. It was fun. We got a wetsuit. We did. We learned a. We learned actually a good amount about if the whole manatees and all how to handle them. Yeah, what to absolutely. Do and it's definitely what they actually it are. To listen to them. Talk but about them. um. No, we saw about what, four, four or five manatees out here. And they were hugging on you. Please, I just want to do a little disclaimer. Please, please, please do not pet a manatee. Please. It can be really dangerous for them. It can be really dangerous if other people see you and continue to pet them. Um, it's just not a good idea. And you can be fined thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's really just not worth it. Please do not pet them. If you see them, they're most likely very, very friendly. If you're in the water, one of them came up and hugged Trevor's foot. Oh, I know. His leg yeah. and was spinning upside down. He there came. There a bunch of kayakers around us, and he like grabbed onto the kayak. And, and I do have. Just don't pet them. If you want the touch thing, just hold your hands out flat. You know, like this. Don't. 
like this <laughs> and then um, most of the time they'll come right up to you you don't have to reach your hands out or anything they're su they're super cool just beautiful animals and um, I love being passionate about it because I get to teach other people people are always asking me a lot of questions about them and, and it's really fun to see people eager to learn about them so if you choose not to go on the tour where the learning part is included definitely do your research and make the effort to learn as much as you can about the laws in Florida regarding manatees and just about them in general because again super cool animals Hunter Springs is park 10 out of 10, 10, 10 recommend. Out of recommend yeah but the fantasy those are definitely like portability Taking off the tail. Oh, you can't have the fins are supposed to be on the front. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I thought it was an angle. Was it fun? So fun. This is fun. Yeah, you gotta hold it. <laughs> we made it to our campsite. Look at that. It's beautiful, huh? Oh, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, nice little high enough. Mean you roast some eggplant on that grill later tonight? Oh yeah, we can grill the eggplant. Ooh, That'd be so really good. Nice. You got some bags, get some horseshoe. Mm-hmm. We yeah. kinda well, we'll probably pull people Oh, probably. Wait, wait, I don't have shoes on and there's the spiky things in the rocks. But anyway, so this is Chasa Huisca campground. And I used to go here, well I've been here once as a kid. Um I went camping with my friends for a birthday party and I just loved it because there you can walk down to the dock going that way you can walk down to the dock to the springs um and there's this clubhouse there's showers and water here's our little setup it looks like a mess but I promise organized chaos oh yeah Trevor's mom gave me this bag and I learned very quickly that it's kind of perfect, perfect. for like when laundry, we're cooking and cooking. laundry Pretty much everything that's what we use the bag for. Yeah, because it collapses, so we take all of our laundry fits in there. But also, whenever I'm cooking outside the bus, like we were this morning at the Springs, um, and you know, like we are right now, I just put all the ingredients and all the materials in here, and then I just haul it all outside. And then I just throw everything back in, and then I can organize it so I never have trash or, you know, dirty dishes or anything that I'll forget because I just throw it all back in the bag. Also, Flounder's chilling with us at his backpack over there. Okay, so Flounder's closer to us now. I think he's ready to hang out. We just didn't want him around when all the smoke was going in his direction, so. There he is. Do you think you need any more fire? No, I think it should be good. It should be good? Mm-hmm. I've got couscous. Going with my fire roasted eggplant and smoked paprika chickpeas and I mix them all together and then this is typically, typically I make this cold. This is one of Trevor's favorite things to eat and I cook it like this and I put it in the fridge for like an hour but it's really good hot too so you kind of mix those two things together and then you add like red wine vinegar and sun dried tomato oil and it makes a really yummy salad and you serve it with avocado and salt and pepper and again cherry tomatoes <laughs> okay so finishing off the salad trevor has decided that he wants it cold so we're gonna put this in tupperware containers and put it in the fridge it is so much better cold it's so, it's so good cold so i'm gonna go ahead and put in all of my ingredients wood noise um, Chilling over here in Chasso Witzka. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Got a manatee off to our right, mm -hmm. hanging out with us. <laughs> it's nice when it's like 65, mm -hmm. 70. I'm gonna go a muffin. And we got a muffin. Mm -hmm. So, it's a pretty so chill day. Know. Pretty sure we're gonna hike over here for a while and then a, uh, later in the night head down south over to Wikiwachi area and probably stay that over there somewhere. So, mm -hmm. but it's beautiful out oh, here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Nice.
So right now, me and Angelina are dumping our tanks. Sink water. Our sink water. And a, um, we are going to empty out our toilet. And then after that, we are going to be headed to... A couple trails. Yeah, on over on Wikiwachi. So going to go for Wikiwachi. Head a couple trails. Might get in the water for a little bit. We'll see. So mm -hmm. This is pretty convenient. Welcome to a new Taliga hammock. Dang, it's kind of big. <laughs> Where's the main entrance to the track? This might be the main entrance to the track. Or this might be the main entrance to the track. Not sure, but we're in this little alcove that Trevor passed like twice. Flanders in the backpack with us. He's a little grumpy today. Probably a little bit. Mm. All right. He's pretty grumpy. Ready? Let's hike. hike. Professional tracker. As you can Show see me. over here. Wow. We have some type of scat. I don't know if it's horse, goat, but they have hooves. Or it could be a boar. Probably not a boar because it looks like it was hay. But look. Got right there. Especially right over here. You got the perfect little hook with a V right there. Boom, that's like a, that's definitely a horse. It's gotta be, it's too big to be a. Go, let's find out. <laughs> it's too big to be in your own. Bondra, why are you so grumpy today? You are so fine past couple days. All right. You look pretty fresh too. Mm -hmm. I don't know the exact species, but these are in the aster family. The most broad family of flowers. In, possibly in the world, definitely in North America. There's like over 182 different species just in the aster family. Pretty cool. Things like daisies and fleabane and stuff like that. They're all in the aster family. Lichen. Look at these little lichen cups. They're all over the place. Hiking through a trail. Whenever you're hiking through any trail in Florida, gotta watch out for rattlesnakes. Because those guys will get you and they will get you good. And especially right here next to this swamp area, gators. Gotta watch out for gators. That's what her stick's for. As we sit outside after our little hike, what do we have for lunch today? Uh. Butter noodles. <laughs> Butter noodles? Yes. That's it. And don't nice. look at the oven. It needs to be wiped down. I should have done that, but I didn't. Good morning, guys. It's cold out this morning. It's like 65 degrees in the bus right now. That's but cold for here. For Florida. For but I'd rather middle of Florida. But I'd rather be cold than hot. Yeah, you're Because right. we got tons of blankets and everything. But it's morning time, and today... We are driving like 30 minutes south to go hang out with my Nani um, for the whole day. And for those of you who are not um, aware of the term, I guess, Nani is my mom's mom. And she has been full time in an RV for a couple years now. And she really helped us throughout this whole process and this whole build. And she hasn't gotten to see the bus yet so we're gonna bring it up to her and we're really excited to show her and thank her for all her advice and stuff and she's a great cook oh yeah so <laughs> i'm ready to eat so we know we're eating good today i'm ready to eat but we ended up staying um 
at the beginning of the Anatoliga. Anatoliga. Anatoliga trailhead. Um, it was pretty quiet. There were a few cars that came in and then turned around. I think they did the same thing that we had done earlier in the day kinda when lost. we like kind of got lost on this road because the turns come up on you fast. So I think a couple cars just came in, turned around and left, but we didn't have any issues last night. No. It was nice and very quiet. Set up all of our little window blockers and mm -hmm. able to we go had, to sleep fine. We had tacos. Oh yeah, we had tacos. Mm -hmm. Chickpea tacos. Yes. Okay, but now we're gonna get ready to go, and yeah, pretty good end to the week. Yeah, yeah. Today we are Nani's house, like you said, mm -hmm. and then tomorrow we have her Best Buy appointment. I'm getting a new hard drive in my computer so I and can make some cool artwork for you guys. Then mm -hmm. it's pretty much wait until the next adventure. <gasps> yeah, exciting. See where we go next. Got a nice view of the trailhead and for breakfast, what I like to call nature's cereal. It's not focusing. It's just pomegranate seeds that have been in water in the fridge for like a couple hours. Cereal. It's my favorite snack. And I didn't know, we couldn't find pomegranates for months. Out of season. They were a fall fruit. I did not know pomegranates were fall fruit. I couldn't find them until October 1st. Mm -hmm. But now I have them and I will not stop eating them until they're all gone. Mm -hmm. 